Hey guys, welcome back. We have a doozy today. A little bit of a continuation off of yesterday. We have some updates on Gary's Pokemon. We have some more Eater 26. You're going to want to stay tuned for the end where we'll look at uh, some of the clips from the illegal gambling of stolen product. What a combo. Uh, I'd like to thank JDD underscore cards uh, for some of this information that we're about to go through. Uh, stay tuned here. We have uh, so someone uh, posting on Facebook, Matthew here. Uh, talk to Matthew, very nice guy. Seems like he's just looking to collect and uh, wanted some early cards. So he had purchased from Gary Spokemart on the uh, WhatsApp. So these are his his spoils from that. Um, I was curious to see whether he was looking to like actually resell them or what the purpose was, but I, I think he just wanted some early cards uh, to enjoy them. Um, and then uh, <laughs> we have uh, Jeff Daly here saying, man, we found the guy who broke into Gary's Pokemon shop after all, um, which I don't think anyone did, but that's my opinion. Um, I think Gary broke his own windows. Um, so here he's uh, saying, uh, he confirmed with me in private messages, but also just saying here that uh, he got them from Gary's Pokemon. Uh, here's a picture of Sugoi Pokemon. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of digging in this regard. Uh, looks like they probably got this from uh, Gary as well, um, since Gary's putting the flame emojis in the chat here. I would think that that's probably the source of that. We have live Poke Auctions, which is pretty wild. We got uh, Celebrations product galore. This is probably one of the most recent leaks here with the Elite Trainer boxes, um, which was like three weeks before, before any distributors had sent any out. So uh, stolen, definitely at some point, either that or some distributor is playing with fire and sending these out early, um, or someone that works there took them from there. Um, the shipping company or the print facility um, after they were packaged. Not sure yet. This is absolutely wild to me. How does anyone justify? I mean, even if you have a lot of money, how are you? Why Celebrations two pack bundle for four hundred and seventy dollars? Are you kidding me? Like, just have some patience, guys. Have some patience. Also, like to thank Grumble Gamer underscore eighteen um, for initially pointing me in the direction of the Eater twenty six stuff. Thanks for that. All right, Eater26. Um, I know, sorry that you, you blocked me uh, while I was making this video. I had to record some of these parts uh, a little bit later on since Instagram decided to kill itself for the day. Um, he blocked me, but uh, sorry about your luck. Um, I can just make another account and look at your stuff. All right, so here we go. Uh, now, I don't know if anyone has a... Uh, knowledge of distributors in the US if they can identify um, what these screenshots are from but if you can feel free to send me a message uh, my contacts are down below in the description uh, looks like there's a couple different distributors uh, but if anyone notices the format or recognizes the format I'd love to know uh, where the stuff is coming from whether or not that has a link to the product that was stolen or not um, I don't know, but uh, also just the fact that uh, that someone's someone's ordering. So here's a little little note. So it looks like he's ordering through uh, Rookie's Toys rather than uh, his Eater Twenty Six persona. Let's get into some Eater Twenty Six recent broadcasts on Twitch, which he so graciously left up. It's barely 10, so let's get lit. We're going to see some celebrations. I got a few razzles to do. I got, I got, oh my God, bro. I'm so fucking hard. Man. Same. If you're new to the stream, welcome to the stream. Today we have celebrations. And let me just note something. Let me just note something. I saw a bunch of haters. Like people have been uh, sending me people's story. So there's actually people reposting my picture with clown emojis. If you don't like the emojis, you... Probably definitely don't like this. And I get it. I'm used to the hate. I'm used to the hate. But all I got to say is that if you don't know how business works, then 
when I see haters like that, honestly, it's it's kind of pathetic because they don't know how much money I'm paying. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what I've been through to get these boxes. You know what I mean? So all I got to say to those people is a big fucking fuck you to every single person that fucking did a story about me and put a clown fucking emoji. All right? It's not my fault you can't afford fucking $3,000 and spend it on Pokemon cards. So somehow that 2.5K turned to three grand now? That's kind of weird. Look, I don't want to pay that much. But if I don't pay that much, I can't have this. They put the price. I don't put the price. My, my people that are here, they know how I work. I only go based on how much I pay. Of course, $60 is kind of crazy for a pack, but when I'm paying $2.5, $2.6,000 on five ETBs, you got to be shitting me, bro. If, 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 if. So for anyone trying to keep up here, here's the uh, chalkboard. Uh, at first it was 2.5, uh, which he struggled to uh, calculate. Then he said it was three grand, uh, which was a lot for Pokemon cards and saying people couldn't afford that. Now we're back to 2.5 to 2.6 thousand I don't know how the extra 0.1 thousand got on there but uh, it did I'm thinking maybe the three grand was if he was charging sixty dollars per pack uh, that's how much money he would make uh, not to mention the five other packs or 25 total packs in the ETBs themselves and the sleeves and the Greninja promos which he said were sixty dollars a piece as well so I, I guess this is where the uh, the math is coming from. I don't I don't know if he can change the price anymore and tell us he's not going to tell us the price, but then tell us a bunch of different prices. If you if you don't use your brain, and you don't fucking have like the normal fucking a uh, brain, and you don't you can't understand that, then that's your fucking problem. Because there's some other fucking dude that said, oh, how come you don't just fix your car with all that money you're spending on Pokemon cards, bro? I don't I don't want to invest in like my car because I, I don't get any money back I, I work on the engine tr trust me my car runs really well but I don't give a fuck dude I don't care if my car is keyed I don't give a fuck dude I care about my bank account I, I care about how much merchandise I have and I care about how much fucking how much work I do I'm gonna go ahead and call your bluff on not wanting to show off your car and flex and everything else it Seems the first thing you did after purchasing a stolen Pokemon product was post next to your car and post it on Instagram. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe if uh, you're more proud of the engine and how well it runs, you should have taken a picture of the engine bay with the celebrations boxes in and around the uh, <laughs> the manifold <laughs> or something. That's what I care about. I'll worry about a nice car later on. I'll worry about flexing later on. You know what I mean? I don't have to worry about that right now. But this is all to all the fucking haters out there that fucking put clown emojis on my fucking shit. That's fucking lame, bro. Did they happen to do anything like this? Thank you to the almost 70 people on the stream, guys. Let's get this cracking, guys. I got... Uh, let's start with the celebration razzles, bro. We're going to do the celebration razzle. For those of you who didn't tune into the last one or need a translation... By razzles, he means raffles, and by raffles, he means a legal lottery. All right, guys, welcome. To, I just needed to say that, guys, because honestly, like, I get hate all the time, and it always happens when I get an early release. Like, when I get early boxes, there's people always hating on me. There's always, and then to top it off, they follow me. So I go to their profile, and it says follow back. So I just block them, bro. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need that negativity in my page, bro. Like, I'm working, bro. You know what I mean? And there's no room for fucking haters, bro. Straight up. Heads up. Just because somebody follows you doesn't mean that you're their hero or anything like that. They are allowed to criticize you and probably follow you because you have your profile set to follow only. That's why I'm following you. And you still haven't blocked me, but I'm sure you will at some point. You know what I mean? I've been doing this for a long time for fucking some lame ass motherfucker to come here and tell me this and tell me that like you fucking think that does something to me like do you really think that does something to me 
Judging by the way you react to criticism, I'd say that it definitely does something to you, whether you want to admit that or not. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. You, you don't. It really doesn't, bro. It really doesn't. Let me just tell you. It really does nothing to me. All right? All right. It just triggers me a little bit. It does trigger me. Yo, so I'm just opening the ETB, guys. We'll see the booklet after, bro, because honestly, I mean, I don't... I mean, yeah, I love the fact that there's more people here, but I care about my supporters, the people who actually paid for the razzles, and I got razzles to do, but I just wanted to open the ETB to show you guys the packs, bro. So for all the new people that are here, that's cool. Thank you for tuning in, but I really can care less at what you want. You know what I mean? Who would have guessed? You don't care about anyone that isn't buying your stolen product that you paid too much money for? I'm going to pin it, all right? I'm going to pin it, guys. Each pack is 60 bucks. So we're going to have to skip through a whole bunch of pop figure illegal gambling lotteries uh, to get to the celebration stuff. Let's take a look at that instead. Name, But I'm going to do celebrations rest first, all right? So Stephen G number one, uh, and then I got Stephen G number two. I got Jesse at number three. I got uh, uh, Avelino at number four. I got, I got to get these razzles out of the way before because there's people that pay money to be in these razzles. Got to make sure those illegal gambling customers are taken care of first. Don't forget about them. Which is Endeavor GameStop exclusive because that Endeavor comes in a yellow box that's a My Hero Academia exclusive to GameStop. And that box is going for like 150 bucks right now. So she just got one of those pops for like really cheap. So congratulations to her. Again, only imagine this is the mindset of everyone that partakes in these, or at least most people that partake in these. Um, when the total value of the Razzle McDazzle adds up to way more than the price of the item. Um, even if statistically you partake in enough of them to have the actual odds, you're overpaying significantly. So I, I don't know, this is some kind of uh, gambler mindset um, that he's reinforcing, I guess. Maybe he thinks this for real. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. This is for celebrations. It's time to open. Oh, not open. Now we're going to do. We're going to do the RAS for celebrations. So if you're in celebrations RAS, this is your time, all right? This is your time for celebrations. That's when things get serious, all right? So this is a big RAS, all right? So here's the thing. Winner, you could take either the ETB. You could take the ETB or you could take $480 cash. So here we have it. We are gambling illegally at this point for stolen product. Just kind of piling everything up on top of each other. We're gonna we're gonna go for the most illegal transaction in Pokemon history. <laughs> Here, um, not to mention, I think I'm not I'm not a lawyer, but uh, I can't imagine offering a cash prize for a an online lottery that's unregulated is a good idea either. Um, I'd have to say that that probably adds onto it as well. Whatever. Avelino, you're out! Stephen G is the winner! Stephen G is the winner! Stephen G is the winner! Stephen G! Stephen G is the winner! You're welcome. I turned that down so your ears wouldn't bleed. Um, he goes on these little, uh, little rants or little screaming fests and repeats himself when people win things. I guess that gets them amped up. Congratulations, Stephen G. You won the absolute most unofficial lottery, uh, I guess a legal lottery containing Pokemon cards that were stolen. Congratulations. By the time they get to you, they will be worth regular price, uh, which will be much less than, than what you paid. But good work out there. If that wasn't enough illegal gambling for you for one episode, <laughs> Here we go. We have a bonus wheel with the Greninja. So we're going to take a look at that now. For anybody that bought a Celebrations pack, this card is going right now for like $50, $60. All right. This is going to be the wheel of names price. Okay. If you're trying to get on the wheel, you either got to get a Celebrations pack at least or um, eight packs of Evolving Skies at least. All right, that's the minimum to join the wheel. The promo card is gonna be the price, all right? 
So the promo card is the price. Check this out, guys. You're looking at celebrations. This comes out till next month on the 8th. All right, guys, this comes out till next month on the 8th. And you're looking at it here at Ricky's Toys. This is the Grey Ninja. Did he just say Grey Ninja? Did I hear that right? I can't say I've ever heard that. Um, there's some hard to pronounce Pokemon, but uh, Greninja is definitely not one of them. I don't know if the uh, the Ricky's Toys is his business name that he uses with distributors, or, or maybe his eBay name, um, or some other uh, thing that he uses. I think there was actually um, a message sent to him um, referring to him as Ricky. Uh, his name is Enrique. Uh, or eater 26 as he likes to go buy on most things but uh yeah i don't know i don't know what's going on here this is the grain ninja and it has a star look at the little star bro oh my god i don't expect a flip dipper 69 illegal lottery hoster to know much about pokemon itself um, obviously trying to cash in on the 2021 hype uh, more than anything this is a gold star. Uh, I would think that most people would know that who had uh, much interest in the game um, and spent as much time with the cards as, as this person claims to. At the Sakian. I've heard Zacian and Zacian, but never Zakian. That's a bit of a stretch. Oh my God, Team Rocket. That's from um, Evolutions. All right, I need to stop watching this. This is just painful. Um, yes, it was reprinted in Evolutions, which you're probably more familiar with since it's super popular in 2021. Uh, but uh, this is from the Team Rocket set, not uh, necessarily Evolutions originally. This is early boxes. I paid a high price. When these actually drop, the prices are not going to be as much. They're not. But right now, you're looking at a box being open three, four weeks before it actually releases. You need to understand that I didn't get this retail. All right? So please stop assuming, guys. At the end of the day, I don't care if you assume or you don't assume. But I'm just explaining it to you guys one time, and that's it. I'm not going to explain it to you guys all the time. Please explain it to us one more time. Somebody's gonna. This is going for like $60 right now. All right? This is going for like 60 bucks. So somebody will take it, all right? Today, somebody's going to take one of these. To add it to whatever it is that you guys already pulled, you guys are going to get an extra one, right? I figured this is probably a good place to leave off. Uh, we got the uh, the wheel here. Got to make sure we get the the wheel in to make it seem like a casino. Uh, that bonus, that bonus prize for participating in the illegal gambling. Uh, top it off with a little, a little spin or two on the old uh, color wheel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care. Hope you all waited for celebrations. Be patient. Even if you can't get it on release, it is going to go down in price. They are going to continue to print it, just like they did everything else uh, that was popular on release. If, if there's a lack of it, there certainly won't be in the long term. So hold in there. Things will get better.